All right, so I'm Brian Post. I'm the executive director of the Stone Trust. Uh, we're here in uh, the middle of May 2016 at the Master Features Park, which is located at the Stone Trust Center on Scott Farm in Dummerston, Vermont. And we're just going to take a quick look around here at some of the walls and features that are uh, we use, used for training here at the Stone Trust. So um, starting over to the side here, we've got a, a couple styles of wall, the, the Irish fitting style wall with the vertical top half of the wall set and then we've got a section of Galloway wall next to that Galloway dyke with Scottish style especially from uh, southwestern Scotland then as we turn over here we have a long section of wall and this wall has a whole bunch of features in it we've got um, down at the far end we have a cheek end which is the end of a wall that's a level 2 test feature then a little farther along we'll walk this way so you can get a better sense of it um, in the middle there we have a, a squeeze style and that's a feature that allows a farmer to go through a wall but a cow can't go through the wall. It's a, it's a narrow gap. Sometimes they're as narrow as eight inches. This one's a little bit wider. So you can see there it's like two cheek ends. It's like two cheek ends right up close to each other. Then just a little farther down here we get into a step style. This is another way of getting across a wall without having animals get across the wall. So. We've got these big through stones that go all the way through the wall, it's really anchored into the wall, and you can step up and walk over your wall. The same stones are going to protrude on the back side of the wall, so you can go right down. This is a very traditional feature for, uh, to allow access over the wall for humans, but not for animals. And normally that would have a cut through, but since there was a workshop this weekend, the cut through was actually taken out for the workshop. Yeah, normally the, the coping stones, these top vertical stones, uh, wouldn't be right there, so it'd be a little easier to cross. All right, coming down here, we've got a section of wall that's been taken apart right now, and this section of wall is leading up to a right angle turn, a 90 degree turn in the wall, and that's a master craftsman feature. It's actually fairly difficult to weave those two sections of wall together and keep your, your batter angle true as you're building that. So this is being taken apart, getting ready for a, a test. Coming down this way, we have, an, we have another feature here that was taken apart. And this is an arch, and everybody loves arches. So this is an arch feature that will be built here as a pass-through in the wall. Again, so like you know, a farmer can direct sheep through the wall, or if you have a little stream that you need to bridge over. Beautiful features. Um, you can see there's an arch form in the distance over there, a wooden form that will be used for forming up that arch. And this all will be rebuilt into a wall in a few weeks. And getting down to here, this is another cheek end, the wall end. And this is an equivalent, roughly, of a level two test, which would be to take this wall end down about to the back to here and rebuild that wall in seven hours. And it's got to be to a very high degree of uh, quality as well. as a challenging test. I'm going to keep walking this way. Actually, right up on this bump here, just start, it's a little hard to see here, but just started over here is going to be a round column, and that's a master craftsman feature as well. And we've got Michael Murphy just starting to work on this, you can see in there, he's got lots of loose stones scattered around, but he's working on that as a feature. And you can get a sense of just how big this place is and how many walls we have. Coming down the hill here. This is our retaining wall section, and it's gradually getting bigger. But the retaining wall is an advanced test, the advanced time test to take down and rebuild a section of retaining wall in seven hours. So for an advanced test, you're taking down a section from about here, for instance, all the way over to about here. You've got to take that down, rebuild it to an even higher degree of quality and craftsmanship than a level two test. This is a challenging test. Right now in America, in, uh, or in the U.S., there's six certified level three wallers that have successfully completed that test. And then coming over here, this is a high wall. And a high wall is one of the features that you can pre-build before you take your time test for level three. You have a couple options there, but this is one of them. And, and if you rebuild a section, this is more square footage than you'd have to do for a level three test. But you've got this tremendously high wall. The key about a high wall, you get multiple courses of through stone going in and those have to be spaced properly and it's also a matter of safe working practices to be able to build something this high and large. We're going to head down this way now and 
can see it's just a lovely sight here on Scott Farm. There's always lots of loose stone around as new walls are being built and crafted. This is another level three test feature here. There's a wall going up to 20 degrees slow. So this wall was just basically completed and passed and hopefully uh, in, a, in another uh, day we'll have a, a seventh level three certified wall. stone trying to fall down the hill as you're trying to build and you're trying to slip down yourself. When you're walling up such a steep slope, your your wall, your given course actually tapers in because a given course goes from all the way back where it's thick and you're using big stones right up the same course comes right out and it gets really thin and you're using small stones. Very challenging at the same time you have to keep your through stones the same height above the ground and evenly spaced. It's, it's a very technically challenging um, wall to build. And then you've got to make sure that your copestones aren't going to be tumbling off the top of the wall. So it, all in all, very challenging. You've got to step your foundations very carefully, building them back into the ground so they're not going to slide. Challenging wall to build. So that gives you a sense of some of the walls and, and features that we have here at the Stone Trust in our Master Features Park. This is, in North America, the only place where you can come and test for those level three and level four features where the features are here and you have all of the options as a waller to come take your test. Um, inside the barn as well, we have an indoor training center. It's the only indoor training center in uh, North America and we've got, we do trainings in there and we've got level one and level two sections of testing as well as there's some level three features there as well. All right, I wanna thank you for taking a look at the Stone Trust and we hope to hear you, see you here uh, in the near future. Website? The website for the Stone Trust is www.thestonetrust.org. We've got a tremendous amount of information both about our programming and also if you're looking for information about how to build walls as well. That's the place to check it out. What about landscape architects, uh, the information there for them? Yes, we also have uh, an excellent set of design specifications for landscape architects and, spec and uh, engineers to follow. Um, we've got design resources, uh, we've got a photo gallery of walls that have been built by certified wallers from all across the country. And, um, sorry, and, we've, got con and we've got contact information for the certified wallers from all across the country. So if you're looking to hire someone to build a wall that is going to, then you need to know that they are gonna do a good job. The Stone Trust website is the place to go. All right, thank you.